Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can add a comparison table like these examples here to any Shopify theme under the, even the free ones in under 60 seconds. So this is a really cool looking comparison table and something that features on a lot of e-commerce websites, but a lot of the Shopify themes don't come with them. So this is how you can easily add this section with our title and subtitle, our call to action button, these feature icons, and then the customizable comparison table here. To do this, we're going to be using the Shopify app Section Store. Section Store is free to install and there's no app subscription. It's a component library of over 600 different theme sections that plug into any Shopify theme. As you can see here, I've searched for comparison table and there's actually 23 different comparison tables. So you can go through and pick the one that you like the style of the best. Today, I'll be using comparison table 23. And if we click into the section, you can see this is a one-time charge of $9, but it's lifetime access. So once you purchase the section, you own it forever and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want. Once you purchase the section, it's going to show up here under my sections. As you can see, we have comparison table 23 and I'll just use this add to theme button to install it on the theme that I want to customize. Now it's installed in the theme, we can come over to the theme editor to the page we want to add this to, hit add section, search for the comparison table and add it here just like a regular Shopify section. As you can see, here's an example at the top of the page that I've set up earlier. So to customize these sections, we want to start by clicking on the overall section name and it's going to give us the overall section settings on the right hand side. So this is what we want to customize first. At the top, you can see we've got some layout options, so table placement. Do we want this on the left or the right hand side? And we have this for both desktop and mobile. Some styling options like width, gap, and gap for mobile. We then have content alignment settings, left, right, or centered, and how we want it positioned on mobile. Moving down, we have some styling options for the table, so roundness on the corners, the border thickness, how wide we want the columns to be header height for desktop and mobile. As you can see, there's a ton of desktop and mobile settings, so you can customize this depending on what device the customer is viewing from. Update all of these, and next we have table column headings, so this is the headings up the top here. If we're using text, you can have a custom font, you can change the font size, the line height, and how it's aligned on the page. Next we have the table row heading. So these are our rows here, and as you can see, we've got these all filled out, completely customizable. We have direct absorption, daily convenience, etc. This is where you fill out what's going to show up in these fields. Of course, you can add a custom font to these. You can change the size, adjust the line height, all the alignment, etc. Next, we have row text. So if there's some text that shows up in here, for example, we can add text under these ticks. This is where you'd add a custom font, change the size, and apply all your styling options. Next, we have the row icons, so these ticks or crosses. Again, you can change the size of these to make them bigger or smaller. Following that, we have some feature settings. So the features are these icons we see down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Much the same, we have the gap for desktop and mobile, how many we want to show on desktop and mobile, and then margin, small styling options. For the features as well, we can choose to have these aligned to the left, the center, or the right-hand side, and we have sizes for the icons. Same thing for the text, you can add a custom font, change the sizes, update all your styling options. Following that, we have the color settings that you'd expect to see in a Shopify section. So column heading, row heading, all of the text, the icons, etc. You can choose an individual color for each. Next, we have active column colors. So the active column is this one here that's highlighted. Again, adjust all the colors, add an opacity, etc. Much the same for feature colors, choose the color of the icon and the text. And then we have section colors, so the overall background if you want to add a gradient and then a border if you have one. Finally, we have overall styling settings down the bottom. So this is the margin on the outside, either between the edge of the section and the page or the padding between the edge of the section and where the content actually starts. So you can play around with these if you want a little bit of space or you want to reduce space on the outside. Once you've made all those customizations, we come back over here to the left hand side and we start customizing each one of these individual theme blocks. So the first one here is going to be heading. As you can see why we stand out, you have a custom text field, add a custom font, all of your styling option for size, line height, etc. and a color. The next one is this text field or the subtitle here. Again, a completely custom text field, add a custom font, apply all of your styling options and choose a color for the secondary text here. The third one is our button, so our call to action button. Right now we have this as shop now, but that's completely customizable. You have a button link, so choose where you want your button to be going to. If you want the link to open in a new tab, you have a style for the button, add a custom font, again all of your styling options like size, padding, roundness, border thickness, and then you have your colors down the bottom to adjust everything related to the button. Following that, we have this trust content section. So this is this free shipping here. Again, much the same. Custom text, add a font, update all of your styling options, and choose a color. 
Below that, we have four theme blocks for four of these feature icons here, as you can see. So we customize each of these individually. You choose an icon from this list, or you can add a custom icon if you want to, add some text that shows up below, and all of the style and color, etc. for this is handled in the overall section settings that we looked at before. Once you've done all four of your features, we can then move down to the comparison columns. So right now, we have three columns displaying in this here. The first section up the top is going to be heading. So right now I have an image uploaded for section store, which is the image here. But if you want to remove this and just add some text in here, it'll show up just like this. So this is your heading um, for the first column. Moving down, we have the values for each of the rows. So we have five in total. As you can see here, I can put some text in here if you want to add some text underneath. Or if you remove this, we can just go with the icon, which you select out of this list, and you can have it either checked or crossed. So you would go through here for all of column one, as you can see, check, 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 which correspond to each of these here, and customize these depending on what you want to show up in the comparison table. You would repeat this process three times for each of the columns. So the second block is column two. As you can see, these are all crossed out for the other patches. And if we look through here, you can see cross cross in row one, row two, row three, row four, and row five. And you can adjust these um, completely independently to customize the comparison table. Repeat that process three times for the three columns. If you don't need one, of course, you can hide it from the table. Once you're happy with how it's all looking, you can preview it on desktop and mobile in the top right corner. And then when you're happy, hit save. And there you have it. That was a quick tutorial on how you can add a comparison table with the text, the buttons, and the features, etc., like these three examples here to any Shopify theme. As you can see from the examples, super customizable. There's a lot that you can do with these, so you can get it matching just right for your brand. If you have any questions about this section or any of our other sections, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on this channel and the app as we release multiple new sections like this every single week.